Welcome back to Food with Life. I am your host, Chapati, and we're here at the Alchemy event in Los Angeles, California. As we say, each guest is very unique, but this one is a very, very unique man. Very unique. His name is Benny Lebeau, uh, or Rainbow Thunderheart, from the Eastern Shoshone Nation in Wyoming. And I tell you, he has much for us to learn and much to help us with. Welcome, nice to have you here. Thank you, my brother. Very nice. Happy to be here. Yes. So tell me, I know the uh, American Indian nation is very powerful for healing. Tell me a bit about yourself and the aspect of healing, the forces, the energy of forces that work here, the medicine we use, all these aspects, and how can they help mankind? They can help mankind become conscious to the facts that they are asleep. Once we clear these energy force fields within the electrical magnetic energy of the elements, which are known as the web of life, that they awaken from a deep sleep because the vibrations that are in the strings of light, known as the matrixes, once we clear them and clean them, peace will return because we clear the old programs that keep spinning is 500 going back to 1200, 26,000 years of vibration that's still replaying, that turns each other against each other, and that's why nature is out of balance in a way. And so, with these medicine hole ceremonies, they provide a way for healing to take place for the planet and also for the people. Because remember, we are made of the earth, earth, wind, fire, and water elements. Yes, yes. So, that's why we say we're all related to all that it is. Whatever we do affects everything, every word, every thought, and action. It's recorded in the electromagnetic energy force fields of the elements and replays. So there's good things that get recorded and replay and negative things. So they're not at the same frequency. So what that does is causes horrendous weather patterns, earth changes, um, all kinds of things that's happening, uh, viruses, illnesses, sicknesses. So with these ceremonies, these are the way that we were once taking care of the environment with a, a People who checked on the energy from the ancient times traveled up and down North and Central and South America to keep the energy reharmonized when it got deharmonized by warring or fighting or star nations coming in with negative sounds and vibrations to control humanity. We were here to keep the energy balanced. And so there's a lot of things that took place in history because we are from the stars. These are our, our stories. So when you say you're from the stars, you meaning men, all men are from the stars, or your particular Indian group? Yes, or how we understand this, we all came from a star nation in the quadrants of the universe and the cosmos. We came from a certain place and were created to become wisdom carriers under our experiences to work with our knowledges of peace on the planet. All cultures and nations came out of the stars from other cultures within the star nations mm -hmm. or many worlds of existence underneath. So I'm wondering, you know, you think about coming from the stars and all this, um, how can someone like, uh, someone who's down to earth, so to speak, take advantage of the wisdom you have to offer? So it's prophesied that the red nations in America, known as the Native American cultures, yes. that are native to the Americas, North, Central, South America, would bring back this ancient wisdom that would teach that we are connected to the stars. All cultures and nations came from different quadrants. We have these knowledges of where all cultures came to the planet. There was twelve major, there were major twelve of those cultures that came here, twelve major nations, and then they splintered into 144. And then they splintered again to 144,000. But these are the foundation of the DNA of all of humanity. So they they were the, the one of those twelve yeah. that was these individuals of, or groups of beings who came. 
to start colonies on the planet. So these were from the American Indian yes. group? And people form, came down or whatever into this clan sort of? Yes, we still have these stories of where we came from. Our creation stories that talks about the, how creation began and how we were all created upon the planet. All right. We're going to talk more on this um, in detail because I want to find out uh, about the ceremonies and the healing value that your wisdom has. All right? Okay. I am your host, Chapati. Stay with us. We'll be right back with our very special guest, Mr. How would you say? Benny LeBeau. Benny LeBeau, known as Rainbow Thunderheart from the Eastern Shoshone Nation in Wyoming. Very good. Thank you. We'll be right back. Stay with us. This is Food for Life. Back to Food with Life. I am your Chapati. We're here at the Alchemy event in Los Angeles and with our very special guest, Mr. Benny LeBeau from the Easter Shoshone Nation in Wyoming. So, we were touching a bit on about um, the ceremonies, ways that uh, for healing that not only ourselves but for mankind. Give me some wisdom here. There's been dreams and visions about healing the elements to what I've had and what my ancestors have had before me, seven generations back. And they mentioned that a time would come with their ancient wisdom would be the wisdoms that would promote the principles of peace under nature's laws known as the universal laws and return with their ancient knowledge that we have the power to recreate the environments, nature, which represents the planet to be beautiful as a time would come after 2013 as we moved into the time the days were now that we would recreate this energy and turn it back to a pristineness by bringing back the rain, the water, activating the springs and snows, and beautifying the environment with pure trees, beautiful animals, insects, microorganisms, the mycelium network, the, the mushroom energy, that we would promote beauty upon the planet again, and we would recreate that with our energy in nine days of ceremonies to revert the planet into a very beautiful place as we move towards heaven upon earth, Nirvana, Paradise, the Happy Hunting Grounds, it has many names. Mm. Are there any, uh, when you do these, are there any sacrifices that occur? You know? The only sacrifice is time and effort from humanity would show up. The time of sacrifice is over. No bloodletting, no pain, all those things are done. So, in our Shoshone Nation tribes are known as the people of the rose. And that means gentle, loving ways. To have peace in our heart is to follow the rose and stop the pain is the thorns, is killing animals or sacrifices. Yes. Thing. That, that time is over and yes. it has been over for us as Shoshone Nations. We are to walk in peace without sacrifice and we have completed that. A lot of us who have made it through to bring this awareness again yeah. about the heart of the rose represents peace so under the frequencies of the rose as energy. So there is no sacrifice of animals at all? No. Beautiful. Beautiful. I know there are traditions that it's still there, you know, they're still present and I don't know what to say, you know, they they come from what they say are civilized and yes. evolved, etc. But the bottom line is life and the heart, you know. And if I feel if any has to be, any of it has to be taken or squeezed, then it's not what Mother Nature intended. Yes, so these things that get sacrificed in the environment, the animals, each other, is an energy that stops the rain and the snows and shuts the springs down. So right now we're presenting healing for the water and we're going to represent this here in Southern California to take it all the way to Northern California and provide this wisdom and knowledge to bring the precipitation back. Uh. We, pro we uh, provided these ceremonies in 2004 as we heal the Super Yellowstone Volcano. On the other side of the earth of the Super Yellowstone Volcano is Iraq, Iraq and Afghanistan. That vibration is sealing the cracks in Yellowstone. Yes. And so this symbol here is, we did this ceremony here yes. that would, would heal the environment. So we have to clear the energy in those areas yeah. because it uh -huh. sealed the cracks, the, the geysers in Yellowstone. Yes. And then we had to do an acupuncture, acupressure ceremony on 19 sacred sites that were 600 miles away from the Grand Teton Peaks in Wyoming by the Yellowstone National Park and the Grand Teton National Park. Right. And so these are our sacred sites that we 
our guard, guardians over in, in those areas as Shoshone nations. And okay. so we did this ceremony and we vibrated the earth on all those 19 places and that ceremony was 1,200 miles across. We did this, the geysers opened and the steam went out that protected the earth from a powerful explosion. And then, and so we've been providing water and rain and ceremonies for people to practice that what we can do, they can do, because humanity forgot. It was prophesied that the nations would come into America, this would be known as a New Jerusalem, where peace would be provided from in the Americas by the red nations of these lands. To, because of Turtle Island here would never be broken by the other cultures who took out the information, they would have a tough time breaking that. But we still have this ancient wisdom that could heal the planet. I have a question here. Okay. So peace. We're talking about the physical environment, yes. the Earth, planet Earth. What about us individuals, our physical consciousness? We may have to take a break, so just touch on it and then we're going to come back. The physical consciousness is being controlled by the vibrations on the sacred sites that keeps us asleep. Right. Within these ceremonies, we clear that consciousness that was provided by those who took advantage of understanding this and then would control us with mind control yes. through what they did to the sacred sites would be like a beacon of light that would keep us asleep from awakening. Right. Once we awoken, we'd go back to sleep. All right. I want to touch more in detail about this, all right? Okay. I am your Chapati. This is Food with Life. We'll be right back with our very special guest, Benny LeBeau of the Eastern Shoshone Nation in Wyoming. Stay with us, please. with life. I am your host Japati. We're at the very special alchemy event in Los Angeles, California. And we're talking with a special uh, American Indian healing and divinity. Very nice to have you. I'm really happy to be here with this information. Benny LeBeau, wonderful man. So we were talking a bit about, you know, we're talking about physical, but now we're talking about internal and the psychological benefits for individuals. Out of these uh, ceremonies, medicine, medicine ceremonies, what, whatever it might be, how does it touch our physical consciousness, our heart, and our mind? For over 5,000 years plus, mostly everyone has been imprinted by negative thoughts and emotions that separated each other. And a time would come when we turn against each other because all the energy that was replaying would get, become so terrible that we would turn against even ourselves and we'd turn against each other. And this would vibrate and get recorded in the environment and replay in history and then there would be World War III. But what we've been doing is clearing this energy with these circle ceremonies known as medicine wheels to clear all the energy that's replaying in the matrices of these ley lines, energy lines, which is known as sacred geometrical patterns that are made of crystalline energy. We're all made of crystals because it's the prisms of light that we're all made from because we're humans, human, made of light, that we are the ones that would awaken with this ancient wisdom of the red nations and especially the Shoshone, which are the Aztecs, the Mayans, and we're all those peoples that came from different star systems of many places, of all cultures in other words, that this would enhance everyone to wake up to what we could do to provide clearing this energy that has got us replaying, fighting, warring, separation, greed, materialism. That the ceremonies would clear that out of the web and then through that we put the principles of peace back in that represented free will, honor, trust, respect, following our hearts, dreams and visions. We would now be in heaven upon earth, nirvana, paradise that we know as a happy hunting grounds mm. or those kinds of things. Right. Okay, on a level of practicality, which is, this is practical, but I'm thinking more, let's say in terms of the, the uh, topography of the land, and now we're in a major crisis of water shortage, you know, which everyone is experiencing, and all the, it's like you cut back on the usage of the water and, and all this, how can this indeed flip it around? is to clear this energy out of the matrixes known as the web of life that all the water that's ever been here is still here, it's never left, it could never get off the planet 
What happened to it, it's got a lot of negative thoughts and emotions and poisons and toxins on the surface, and the water went into fear because it's alive and it's a being, mm -hmm. and it went back under the earth and is hiding and waiting for a time when we'd clear this energy that forced it away, mm -hmm. and it's in the sky. And in order to get that back, we would clear these energies that would allow the water to surface, and the springs would fill up, the rivers would fill up, the rains would come back in, and the snows would come back in. But in order for this to happen, there are certain things that we would have to recognize or educate humanity about. And the consciousness all over California, because every time we would do ceremonies, they have negative thoughts and emotions, words and actions, mining, development, or talking, bickering, fighting. That energy gets recorded and replays every day, and then the water will not come in because that gets recorded every day. So the principles of peace are important to understand if California wants water or any other country, then the principles of peace are important because water is life. And we have one major thing in common on this planet that is really there at the focal point is everyone knows that the earth has something going on with it. And right, so right. that's what we're here is underneath my organization, Earth Wisdom Foundation, which is a nonprofit that we're providing a ceremony for the planet, this equator, the global equator ceremony, 90 degrees north and south, is to reset the energy force fields, and we're looking for humanity to support this cause and to go around the earth. So we're looking for sponsors to help us with this water, and the planet needs the water, but clearing the energy out of the water that's controlling humanity is the information in the water, like Dr. Emoto spoke about, a good friend of mine from Japan. And you know, bless his spirit now, he crossed over, but he's still communicating with my ancestors. And one of my ancestors' name is Sacagawea. Sacagawea, I've heard I know the name. Who led Lewis and Clark. Yes. And she had the principles of peace as she took them across the land to the tribes that they would document all these ceremonies and how nature and peace work with the ceremonies of all the tribes. And then she got to the West Coast and came back. But Lewis and Clark, was controlled by the government at that time and they never shared this information so what I'm doing as one of her ancestors grandson is to share this information of the truth about what took place with that and how this brings back nature's laws underneath rock art petrified images and sound stones and vibrations to promote harmony or healing for all of the elements we're going to touch more on this is a big 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 subject okay I am your host Chapati stay with us we're at the Federally Nice Alchemy event in Los Angeles with our special guest, Benny LeBeau from the Eastern Shoshone Nation in Wyoming. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Food with Life. I am your host, Chapati. We're here at the Alchemy event in Los Angeles, California, with our special guest, Benny DeVoe, from the Eastern Shoshone Nation in Wyoming. You know, we were touching a bit about healing the land and the water situation and all this. And I, it concerns me because it's a beautiful knowing about the physical. But I'm wondering how that ties into our, me, personally into my heart, you know. I'm very much learning more about the heart, not the head, but the heart. And to me that is the, the, the key. That's the bottom essence of what I'm about in my heart. And I feel people in general. But what's your sense on this from your perspective? In order to have peace in our heart is to, for us as Shoshone nations, understand the heart of the rose. To have the heart of the rose means we produce beautiful, pure food to grow. Mm -hmm. Pure rivers, pure, pure soils yes. for subsistence. We do these circle ceremonies known as the Naraya dances that the white man turned into ghost dances. Uh -huh. These were songs and sounds and to tones and vibrations that promoted beauty for subsistence. If the animals got sick, we had a song to heal the energy that got out of balance. If mm -hmm. the food got sick, the plants needed help, they called to us and said we need help because we could hear the plants, we could hear the rivers, we could hear the mountains, right. we could hear the clouds. We could hear all that it was and ever was and still can. And we promoted these vibrations and sounds 
to sitting in a circle. And the medicine that we use in a circle is the energies of the heart energy. When you're in peace, you drop the thorns of actions, anger, hatred, jealousy, resentment, judgments, pointing fingers, who's right and who's wrong. Stop taking things personal and personally. When you do that, and the energy comes in, and you clear up all these thoughts with you that's promoting us to not like ourselves or others outside of us. And we can do that, then we have the power to recreate any illness or sickness that's taking place is to bless it and recreate that energy to be beautiful and bright and pure and clean and pristine. Can you give me, give our wonderful audience some particular exercise or some practice that we can do that's from your tradition that we can take home and do on a, a daily basis or whatever it might be? Is to, to set and calm ourselves and to tell ourselves that at this time I choose to stop taking things personal and personally. I will awaken to my heart's wisdom, following all knowledge and wisdom, honoring each other for each other, staying neutral with all things with my heart, and choosing to pick no one over one another, no organization over another organization, but being neutral and honoring everyone equally for the betterment of each other equally, for the betterment of all that it is and all of creation represents for the betterment of all things equally. That's the major thing that I feel that's very important for people to understand that, to breathe and to meditate and clear any negative thought and emotion from themselves by making a decree and saying, I am this, I am that. This that has been caused me dysfunction is cleared and gone from me now and immediately and so be it is. I am now free from anger and hatred and jealousy at this moment. I am free of love, peace and harmony and so be it is that. I put a prayer in it that that, that is coming from the golden light, the purple light and charges me full of this power, and at this moment I say I am that, the whole world is that, everyone else is that. And when I say that, everyone else becomes it. Because in the beginning was the Word, and the Word turned to flesh. So whatever I would speak, the flesh would turn into it. And the flesh is made of what? The elements. And if we talk about these phrases and decrees, which are known as prayers, then we put these prayers and thoughts into the environment, and the environment shape shifts because the elements of the flesh and the elements would shape shift into beauty also. What are the elements? The earth, wind, fire, and water elements that represent, you know, solids and, you know, the wood, the metal, yeah, right. you know, all the different things like that. And we could shape shift all these things once we understood how power works. And we get our power back to get 100% electrical current in our body is to find peace. Once we have peace in ourselves, we charge up a high voltage of energy. Mm. And we got so much energy, we could create anything on the planet. If we got 500, 3,000, or 300,000 people in California to meditate with us yes. and to dance and sing with us in these ceremonies, right. we could create such a power, we could recreate right. the right. beauty all over California and right. the world. And this is right. what we're presenting to take place in California immediately, and we're asking all cultures to join us. Right. And that's prophecy. Right. And then we go around the world and balance the world. So do you have a group practice that we can do together very quickly because we've almost finished but we'd love to hear about it. The group practice is, is learning how to, to utilize sounds, yeah. sounds yeah. tones and vibrations. Beautiful. Is the octaves of harmony like and practice and then you go and you sing these songs and the vibrations retune your chakras and your body to vibrate in harmony and when you like that anything that's causing the situation goes away so you can sing any song that that vibrates like and then that retunes your body and the frequencies of all that it is when you're wherever you're at gets recorded and then you're putting thoughts into the environment the environment goes Doop! and changes and now it's beautiful just thank like you. we would be the same thank at you, the same thank time thank you thank you it's beautiful i wish we could talk on but we have to stay with our time and we're blessed to have you here our wonderful guest, Benny LeBeau, from uh, Rainbow Thunderheart, from the Easter Shoshone Nation in Wyoming. A blessing to have you with your brilliance. Yes, uh, my website is at earthwisdomfoundation.net. Okay. 
and it's about healing Mother Earth's sacred sites mm -hmm. and bringing awareness about the principles of peace. It's okay. what this is represented for all the world, all the cultures, as above, so below, the universes, and galaxies, and cosmos. So thank you very much for thank being you. here, everyone out there, and thank you. Thank you again, brother. Here. Our pleasure. Thank you, thank you. I am your host, Chapati. We want to thank you very much for watching Food with Life with our very special guest, Benny LeBeau from the Eastern Shoshone Nation in Wyoming. Stay with us. Watch again. Be well, be happy, and enjoy, and be simple. Thank you. And I am your host, Chapati. Bye-bye.